Hi, this is Rosani. Here we have an ordinary plastic bag that I've stuffed with another plastic bag. And I added a rubber band at the top. So this is going to be the basic bird shape. In this case, it's going to be a macaw parrot and I'll add the beak right here. And I lined it up to see where it would fit. And I cut it out. Now I prefer to use cardstock, but you could use brown paper or whatever you want. And this is how I used my cardstock. There must be two pieces cut out so that they can be joined together. And I'm going to do that with masking tape. It's very easy. You just join it where the curve is. And you do this on the top and on the bottom. Later on, you can add the puppy and mache, but for now, we just want to prepare the beak and then we're going to see how it actually fits onto the body of the parrot. Make sure to stay till the end of the video so you'll see the process of attaching the beak. You can experiment with different types of beaks, but if you have any doubts at all, please use images as references. This technique will get your beak off to a good start, and it's that easy. Now, if this doesn't work out, you could try it on another beak. Soon we'll be able to line it up with the body. This will give you an idea of how it will go. We must prepare the body for the papier-mâché process. I have to give the body fullness, so I've covered it with a few paper napkins. This will be followed by the papier-mâché technique using strips of paper and liquid starch. I will use this over the entire body shape, and I'll also do this with the beak, though I will be using smaller pieces of paper. Learn more about my papier-mâché techniques using liquid starch when you visit my playlists. There you'll find many videos on different types of projects using liquid starch. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate your support. And did you know that you are supporting me just by hitting that like button? Oh, absolutely. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome, welcome. And if you like this type of content, please do give it a thumbs up. Let's move right along. As you can see, I've added a few layers of papier-mâché, just enough to harden it and create a thin shell. And I'll be able to attach the beak. I did the same on the little beak. I haven't covered it completely with papier-mâché. We're going to do that later. But for now, it's just a matter of positioning it into place. You can make all types of parrots. I know some of you are bird lovers and uh, parakeet lovers, cockatoos, cockatiels, the little budgies, I think they're called. Anyway, so there are a lot of varieties, so that means you can make them in different shapes and sizes. But the principles are the same. Later on, you can always work out the details with the wings and the feathers, of course. Um, it's just going to be a fun project and you can make the beak open or closed. I prefer to do it in two pieces, but you can make it one solid piece if you like. It's all up to you. You could even make a phoenix, make a fantasy bird. Just whatever is the most fun for you. I'm using just a few pieces of papier-mâché strips just to get it lined up, and I'm going to allow that to dry. This will be my stopping point for now. We'll work on more details in the next video. 
so please check my playlist for updates. Bye for now and thank you for watching.